We watched NXT 2.0, April 26, 2022. The opening segment may well have been the worst segment of any wrestling show I've seen all year. Nikita Lions, no. Dude, did you watch this match? I did. It was it was it was certainly not good. I'll say. But uh, I think that you you get drunk a lot watching this show and you forget segments. Ah, uh, that's fair. I mean, fuck. I don't think there's been one Joe Casey segment that was worse than this match. Well, there's or better. I until recently I, I boycotted those. When he he's, exactly he's a main event heel, I cannot in good conscience. I know, but even this fucking angle on this show was wacky. It was very wacky, but it's better. Uh, it was better. They went out there. Say what you will about the idea on paper. They executed the idea on paper as best they could. This Nikita Lions Lash Legend match. They executed nothing like they wanted to. They get in there. Is Jared asleep over there? How come it's still on me? There we go. He had. Who cares? I care. <laughs> We're staring at me listening to you. Because <laughs> you can react to what I say. So they get in there, and they're trying to do some spot off the ropes. They're not on the same page with... Nikita is not on the same page with Nikita. Lash is not on the same page with herself. They cannot communicate at all. They just start running laps back and forth in the ring. And Nikita throws in the brakes and runs the other direction. And they run past and push each other by. And it goes on. It's horrible. So eventually, somebody gets a hold of something. They're down on the mat, and uh, Nikita is has like a mount, like it's an MMA fight, and Lash is in like a sunset sunset flip position. Only instead of pulling Nikita back, she like puts her hands under her legs and, or, and pushes Nikita forwards. So Nikita, from her knees, falls through the ropes onto her head. On the floor. This is the most amateur hour, unfunny comedy bullshit. So there was a s- many edits. Apparently, there was a wardrobe malfunction. Gee, I've only commented on Nikita's gear every single time she's on TV. I can't imagine how that could happen. They're talking, asking each other, ready? Okay. Calling spots in there. Eventually, Nikita hits a kick where she falls down and wins. And Vic declares, we are certainly in the lion's den. Bro, I know that this is going to make some people mad, but I mean, here's the deal. Everybody wants to talk about equality in wrestling with men and women. But bro, if two dudes had this match, it would have been fucking eviscerated. But I heard so many defenses of this match from people today. Oh, their strikes look good. What? Oh, their kicks look good. You at need the, to unfriend the these people immediately. They are not worthy and, of your time. Uh, and I didn't think... Here, listen, here's the deal. I didn't think it was that bad. I've seen many worse matches than this. I laughed at the crisscross spot. <laughs> like, a guilty pleasure to watch matches fall apart. And all I could think during this match was, bro, like, this is the future. This is the NIL deals. We're just going to have a bunch of great athletes having shitty matches, while the announcers tell us that they were great at another sport that has nothing to do with fucking wrestling. Like, if I have to hear about fucking Lash Legends basketball prowess one more fucking time while she's botching a spot, I'm going to be pissed off. I've seen way worse matches. They practiced this for a long time. That's pathetic. I thought they I thought they pulled off 60% of it. Yes, oh, no. Yes, 40% they didn't pull off at all. But, uh, you know, it wasn't... It, I've seen so many worse things on this show. Well, I will say this. Had this just been a pinfall and an end, they move on with lives. Oh, they're not. Uh, had that had that just happened, it just would have been a shitty wrestling match. I wouldn't have cared. Well, I would care a little bit. But there was a post match, so Natty runs out to attack Nikita. They're beating her up two on one until Cora Jade makes the save, and then Cora Cora Jade is beating up Lash with her skateboard, and she turns and she and Natty look eye to eye. They have a stare down. Now, this is important. Natalia is standing there with her bare hands. She's unarmed. Cora Jade is there with a weapon, a skateboard. It's not a fair fight. They stare at each other for a few seconds. Cora tries to attack with her weapon and gets her ass kicked anyway. Yeah, that happened. 
What a fucking geek. Well, that's that's the storyline here. This would be like, remember in Star Wars, where they edited it so that uh, uh, Greedo shot first? Yes. Imagine they edited it where not only did Han not shoot first, but he didn't have a gun at all, and Greedo missed his shot and Han kicked his ass. That is what happened here. Yeah. What bro, a fucking awful bro, show. Bro, watch fucking Raw and SmackDown. No. This shit happens on every fucking show. I mean, it was notable here, but I mean, it's not like you don't see it on every one of these fucking WWE shows because they don't know what they're doing. You know, I got to mention one other thing, by the way, about this whole uh, it's an analogy time. So I'm watching Lash Legend Miss Moves, and they're bragging about her prowess in basketball. <laughs> it's just like, you guys, I, I'm doing this show here. This uh, it, This is a podcast, but I'm also a radio star sports byline usa but you know what i never went to uh i never went to school for any of this i never went to uh i never went to school for journalism you never no communications i never degree. i have a communications degree okay i never any of that so i mean i don't want to say i'm a fake radio guy okay but you know i'm a self trained self made radio guy i didn't do the radio guy stuff right okay so this would be like if on this show, like I had I had guest hosts all, on all the time, who also not only never went to broadcasting school, journalism, communication, or anything like that, but they were like horrible at podcasting. But maybe they were like a, a, a baker, and they'd gone to legitimate culinary school. And I'd be sitting here marking out over them, like, oh man, you know, Frank here. You know, he's here to talk about NXT, and he's, like, mumbling in the mic and not even talking to the mic. And, like, throughout the show, I just keep going, this fucking guy went to culinary school. He's an actual cook. That's what we're talking about here. You, the listener, would be like, who gives a fuck if he went to school to be a cook or a fucking doctor or a psychiatrist or a mechanic, whatever? He fucking sucks at radio. So, dude, I got it. She was good at basketball. And I'm sure that so-and-so was good at wrestling, even though I can't even fucking look up his wrestling record because he got a fake fucking name. Like, I don't give a shit about what they can do if they can't do what they're supposed to do on the show I'm watching, which is fucking wrestle. Am I in the minority here? No. Tony D'Angelo was supposed to face Zion Quinn. They're marks for real sports stars. That's the point I'm getting at. Yeah, they hate wrestling. Yeah. They hate pro, they're a pro wrestling company that hates pro wrestling. Is it because? And hopes these people from other real sports can come in and do it better than actual wrestlers. And like, they think it's easy because it's only wrestling. You know, it's we need credibility here in this, in this pro wrestling thing. So we're going to hire real athletes to come in and do this, this fake wrestling. And then we'll feel better about ourselves. Or I, What is the psychology here? And Vinny is driven all the way here, and his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. Oh, Riveting. right. Yep, we go that way. Uh, nope, uh, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, hey oh, there hey. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.